Welcome friends once again in another trigonometric identity problem. Here again we need to prove the left hand side with the right hand side and our left hand side is under the root 1 plus sin a divided by 1 minus sin a and our right hand side is sec a plus tan a, right? So let me first write our left hand side. Our left hand side is 1 plus sin a whole divided by 1 minus sin a but these all are inside the root right and what we can do here see there are many methods to do simply you can write under root 1 minus sin a and again under root 1 plus sin a you can separate it right or uh, uh, you can uh, do simply inside the root everything whatever the operation you're going to do you can do inside the root also yeah I'm again going to do everything inside the root as I told you and here I'm gonna do the rationalization with the denominator you know by doing so what I will get exactly because it's 1 minus sin a and uh, uh, when I will uh, do rationalization with the 1 plus sin a what will happen see with the 1 plus sin a numerator also and denominator also it is all inside the root okay uh, what happened actually it's 1 plus sin a 1 plus sin a it will be square right or we can simply say 1 plus sin a whole square right and here 1 minus sin a and 1 plus sin a it is you know uh, a minus b times a plus b and this is the formula of a square minus b square right so here 1 minus sin and 1 plus sin a will be 1 square that is 1 1 square you can write also if you want but I don't think what why should I write 1 Simpl uh, 1 square I'm simply writing 1 and sin square it will be sin square a and these all are under the root and here is a benefit of doing so see it since it is a square so you can take uh, you can take out this out of the root and it will be uh, 1 plus sine a and this part is only inside the inside the root see here 1 minus sine square again uh, let's come to a, a, a identity that we had learned that is that is you know sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 and from here if I'll take this positive sine square plus theta this side then this will give me cos square theta equals to 1 minus sine square theta and here it will go in negative form since it is here positive so cos square theta equals to 1 minus sine square theta so that exactly I was telling you in the place of 1 minus sine square theta I can write now cos square theta and in the next step again I can take out this cos square theta so it is 1 plus sin a and then hold the variable cos square theta it will be now cos it's not theta I'm sorry this is a okay so I can write now cos a not theta uh, yeah this is cos a and this is also cos a okay I'm sorry <laughs> fine now I'm going to separate individually like 1 upon cos a and sine a upon cos a sine a upon cos a my pain is not working properly I don't know why uh, I'm getting some curved lines it's not due to my bad handwriting I think but yeah here is some problem well no problem I hope you'll ex excuse me so 1 upon cos a you know that sec a's reciprocal is 1 upon cos a so in the place of 1 upon cos a you can easily write sec a and sine a upon cos a is that tan a right and I think this is our right hand side yes see sec a plus tan a equals to we get we get the right hand side so like this simply you need to convert right this was quite simple simply what we did here we did the rationalization so if you get somewhere uh, some something inside the root then try to rationalize it with a denominator I think you'll get probably the you'll get the right hand side right and I hope uh, you learn this techniques and you'll be using this techniques to solve other problems right and uh, we'll be meeting in the next video there we'll be solving some more problems and that will give you more techniques to uh, solve these kinds of trigonometric identities problem okay and please if you like my video please subscribe me I'll be really happy and uh, I'll get some encouragement to make more videos okay so bye bye